Hello, my name is Jade Kale and I'm studying at SFS Costa Rica. Today we're going to be talking about how to be a mindful tourist or student when you're going abroad. There's a lot of reasons why you would want to visit Costa Rica, be it the beaches, the rainforest, the wildlife, uh, but also Costa Rica is a really good place for ecotourism. So what is ecotourism? Ecotourism is basically a type of touring which also keeps in mind the environment, um, the local culture, and um, your consumerism. Before you go anywhere, it's always good to educate yourself about the local customs. You could do this by either going online and just looking at a travel blog, or you can read a travel manual about that country. So Costa Rica is filled with very, very nice people. Um, it's kind of what they're known for. Um, and it's also very Americanized, so that's why you can find a lot of American tourists here. This doesn't mean that you should expect everyone to speak English because um, people don't, and the local language is Spanish. Um, so learning Spanish will be very helpful, um, but if you don't have time to learn a whole language, which is fine, um, you can always try to uh, learn just like simple phrases such as like, please, thank you, or uh, where is this at, and stuff like that. Uh, people will really appreciate that. Also with social customs, uh, you can uh, read about like if they're okay with eye contact or if you're visiting someone's house, should you take off your shoes or not. Um, most of the time it's going to be uh, more polite if you just take off your shoes anywhere. A tip about tipping here is that uh, Costa Ricans um, don't really expect you to tip on anything, um, either like like a taxi ride or sitting down at a restaurant. Um, not needed, but if you give them a tip, they won't decline it. So, Before you visit another country, it's also good to look at how they process uh, different things such as their trash and their sewage system. So in Costa Rica, what's really popular here is the septic tank. And if you don't know, it's like um, your, your wastewater goes into this tank and it's either like has some chemicals in that tank that help purify it before it leaches out into the ground around there. So my school currently has that and it's good to uh, bring some biodegradable soaps and products that um, easily break down into the environment since it's going basically directly back into it. So what I brought is like some um, beeswax soap for my body or uh, lotions. If you're going to the beach, you would want to bring some um, reef safe sunblock, um, but also you can bring like camping soaps and detergents. So. If you want to learn more about the culture of a certain country, it's always good to visit the museums. So here we have this uh, museum in San Jose called the National Museum. Um, that one's really popular, but also we have uh, smaller museums, just the Gold Museum that people like to go to. And if you're a student, sometimes they'll give you a student discount. Another way to learn about local culture is to visit the country during uh, festival time. So our class went to the Independence Day in Atenas, and there's also different things such as um, on Halloween, they celebrate the Day of the Masks. So they have like dance parties and music and stuff like that. So go there. <laughs> If you're planning on staying in Costa Rica for an extended period of time, I highly just suggest doing a work exchange uh, program or study abroad program or volunteer. This really helps you get to learn like specific individuals that are local to the area and um, they'll let you in on like what's the best place to eat or what's the best bar to go to. Um, as well as like personal stories and, and seeing how uh, different people from around the world um, think of different things. You have to be really mindful about uh, what you're doing as a tourist because if you're trying to be very eco-friendly in uh, your travels, you should look up their uh, CST score. So a CST score is based on like a five 
point scale or a five leaf scale. So one leaf means they're not really doing much for the environment, whereas five leaves means they're, they're like the most equal friendly and it's really good. So um, when you're booking like a hostel or a hotel, it might say it's an eco lodge, but you have to look at their CST score to determine if it's actually good or not. And this, if you plan to take any tours, um, I highly suggest looking at tours that are led by local people because who knows the area better than local people. Um, make sure they are legal though because there are instances of people going on illegal tours and getting injured and they don't have insurance. So it's a big mess and it could be very dangerous potentially. One thing I suggest you do is to take walking tours as opposed to like bus tours. So when you're in a bus then it's really easy to like see something, say, oh, it's cool and then drive away but and miss all these local shops here. So the best way to do it is to get your feet on the actual street and walk around. So they have a lot of great um, bakeries here. Those are my most favorite because you can get like um, so many pastries and a coffee or a smoothie for like so cheap. It's the best thing ever. Um, also there is local sodas, so experience the local cuisine and maybe you'll discover a pocket park or a library that's really cute and cool or a bookstore. You never know. Until As a tourist, you might have heard of bucket list traveling, which is basically like going to a place on your bucket list, staying there for a short amount of time and going to the next place after like a day or two. Uh, this is also called short haul traveling. In some places like France, uh, this has been banned, so like you can't buy a plane ticket if there's already a train uh, route going there. Um, but for Costa Rica, you should try to stay in one place for a moment and appreciate it and learn all about it before you go on to the next thing. Something to keep in mind is to always uh, keep your distance away from wildlife. So. Recently, uh, we were on the beach at Manuel Antonio and there was a lot of white-faced capuchin monkeys there and um, they've gotten really used to tourists. So people like to like feed them crackers and pastries that they buy or the monkeys will just go into your bags themselves and eat whatever. So um, make sure to keep your distance and don't feed any of the wildlife. Um, don't try to like grab them or like try to take selfies real close to them because you could put yourself in danger as well as the animals in danger. And you wanna keep it as natural as possible, but yeah, keep your distance. <laughs> Some not as touristy attractions you can do in Costa Rica is to uh, book cooking tours with local families. Um, also go to local farmer's markets. Uh, a really popular one in San Jose is called Feria Verde and they have a lot of indigenous people selling products as well as uh, bakery items and, and breakfast foods, lunch foods, fresh produce, all that types of stuff. Also, there's a lot of uh, family owned farms around here uh, that sell or produce their own chocolate, coffee, uh, rum, all that stuff. That's really fun to uh, have like uh, see where they're growing it and do a taste test and meet the local family.